Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is me Ubuntu Hokai and in this video I want to show you things uh, that I usually do uh, in Ubuntu 13.04, not necessarily things I do right after installing Ubuntu 13.04, just things I like to do along the way. So uh, I'm going to show you I think 5 or 6 tips or 5 or 6 things I usually do uh, in this video and again if you want more videos like this then please post a comment down below saying you want more and also if i show you something that i have installed then just take a look in the video description and you will find a way on how to install the thing that i'm showing you the first thing i want to show you is uh, that i usually customize the terminal in ubuntu 13.04 i'll show you right now so as you can see i have this uh, transparent background and also the text is green yeah, I want to show you how, how uh, you do that. If you go to edit and then profile preferences, then right here in background, the background tab, it's going to say transparent background. Just uh, mark this right here and uh, you can select how much transparency you want. So I usually I have it around here. Uh, so that's the uh, transparency now also the if you go to uh, the colors tab you'll have right here it says text color I usually have it at the uh, darker green right there and obviously you have a lot of colors to choose from you can also select a custom one uh, but I usually select the darker green select and close uh, it reminds me of the MS DOS you know the old days so uh, that's pretty cool. I usually do this. The next thing I want to show you is that I usually disable the open and close animations. So uh, I'm just going to show you. Right here you can see there's no animation when opening and no animation when closing. The reason for this is I like the simplicity. Um, like back in the days with uh, Windows XP. Just the simplicity of no effects when you open and close windows. I just, I just like that because it pretty damn simple. So if you want to do this then go ahead and open Compass Config Settings Manager. If you don't have it installed then go to uh, the software sensor and install it from there. Now if you scroll down until you see animations. Right here it just says open animation and close animation. And uh, I've selected every open animation to be none. Uh, you obviously have a lot of effects right here, especially if you install the uh, effects add-ons in Ubuntu. Uh, but I like to have it at none. All the way through. And also the close animations all the way through. Uh, I just like that because, again, it's simple as hell. And I really, really like that when it comes to opening and closing windows or applications. So right now I'm going to show you a thing. I think it's called the classic menu indicator. It's right here and you know what it is. It is uh, uh, the old style of uh, Ubuntu. Uh, when Unity first came out I didn't like the dash uh, very much. So I immediately installed the uh, uh, classic menu indicator. But I still today like to have it because it uh, it's just a nice little extra thing to have um, and again if you don't like the dash then it's just perfect because like I said it is the old style Ubuntu uh, you have accessories, games, graphics, internet, office, uh, other sounds and video and so on so if you want to install this application again then just take a look in the video description and you'll find a way on how to install the application the next thing I usually do in Ubuntu is to disable the overlay scroll bars I absolutely hate the overlay scroll bars they're so annoying uh, you don't know if you hit the right place so you can ah uh, it's just pretty damn annoying so I, uh, I usually disable or uninstall the uh, overlay scroll bars. Again, take a look in the description. Uh, there's a way on how to do that. Uh, so I, as you can see, the, I have the uh, old style uh, scroll bar right here. Because uh, it's uh, simple and uh, it reminds me of the old days in Ubuntu. The overlay scroll bars are just a no from here. So... Uh, the old style scroll bar is a yes 
obviously. <laughs> the final thing I'm gonna show you guys is a pretty simple thing. It's a thing I uh, do uh, right after installing Ubuntu. I um, I change the uh, launcher icon size and to do that you just go to uh, the system settings to appearance and right here I think it is at 48 at normal uh, just right after you install Ubuntu. But yeah, if you have a lot of things in uh, the launcher it's gonna be pretty cluttered. So uh, I usually set it to 32 which is the uh, smallest size, the smallest launcher icon size. So um, I usually have it at that because it looks awesome and uh, it looks, it doesn't look as cluttered as uh, if you have a big giant di launcher, la launcher, launcher. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, have a nice day and remember if you want more videos like this then just post a comment down below saying that you want more videos like this because there's a ton of things I usually do in Ubuntu uh, right after the installation or also along the way. So uh, that's it, thank you guys for watching again, have a nice day, I will catch you in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scout.